Hello everyone and welcome back to another Yokai Watch unboxing video. And today we're opening up two, count them, two boxes of Yokai Watch Shadow Side Arcs. That's right, last time we checked out the Yokai Watch Arcs in depth and how they interacted with Yokai Watch Elda. And today we're opening up two cases of these things. Now, similar to Yokai Watch Dream Medals, they have NFC technology, meaning the watch can detect what the dump you're putting inside of it. It's pretty stinking rad. But Jabanyan's cool. I love him to death. However, I want to see some of these new Yokai introduced in the Shadow Side series. So let's dive right in and see what comes included. So, first thing you're going to notice is that uh, the boxes are a lot smaller. Here is a uh, box of like Yokai medals from. Ugh, Yokai Shadow Side. You're gonna notice, holy crud, it is way stinking bigger and way whiter. That is because arcs are infinitely tinier than Yokai Medals, and there's also a lot less of these. To counteract that, this box was, I think, only 20 bucks, so it's two dollars per arc. Pretty darn cheap, I gotta say. And on this side, it's showing us all of the set numbers. There's apparently six commons and one legendary Yokai, which I really, really hope I get. On the other side, we just have like advertising the watch and the Neo Yokai chip, which I we don't honestly think it's any different than the other one, but who's to say really? Anywho, enough of that crap. I cannot wait any longer. Let's dive right in. I kind of want to preserve the box, but uh, you know me. <laughs> I'm just going to open this as fast as I can. Oh my gosh. Here's a good shot of what the uh, pack art looks like. It is uh, noticeably smaller than all the other medals, but that's okay. And I think that's a Michi medal, which it's colored blue, but let's open our first pack of Yokai Watch Shadow Side Arcs. I'm so excited, and we got uh what? Actually, I think I I think I know who the dump this is. This is Hange Moro Taisho. I'm really butchering that, but he's like a guardian fisherman dude. He's a different tribe. The tribes are a little bit different in Yokai Watch Shadow Side. There's seven instead of the nine in the Enma tribe, but uh. Looks pretty cool. Let's check out his shadow side, which this is giant titanic looking sh like fish. It's not a shark, but it might as well be, dude. It's kind of scary looking. So that's an interesting yokai for our first pull, I, I guess. You got to forgive me. I got to zoom in the uh, camera a whole heck of a lot because these things are tiny. And <gasps> no way, dude. Holy crud. Is that her? I think it, it is, it's Blizzaria. Oh my God, dude, I'm fanboying so much right now. So Blizzaria, as I'm sure you all know very well, is a very, very popular yokai and for good reason. She's beautiful and actually very powerful. Let's check out her shadow side, which is very, very menacing. Oh my gosh. I'm not sure which uh, tribe she is this time because this uh, series has the tribe symbol kind of along the like arc. You can see she has like a little wisps things. I don't know. It's different, but I can dig it. I guess she's actually a common too because the uh, like plastic surrounding the arc is actually the same. So possibly that'd be a little bit on the rare side though. I don't, she's Blizzaria, right? She's gotta be a rare. I hope that's not her only good pull of the box, but if that is so, that'd be a shame. And oh God, here we go. This uh, mushroom dude is Mushbaba who is, He's a mushroom that cuts hair. You'll notice he has sort of a body of a, like, barber shop pole. And on the other side, he is a, like, giant clown with, like, sword arms. You can't make this stuff up, y'all. But, uh, this is a pun on, uh, gosh, a really messed up thing if you think about it. So this guy is just, I'm a very nice mushroom, Bob. Let me cut your hair. And the other side is literally Jack the Ripper. I'm not kidding. That is what this yokai shadow side is based on. Pretty darn dark. Gotta say, <laughs> but uh, onto our next pack. Let's see who we get in pack number, I wanna say this is number three, but I already lost count. Oh no, this is number four. So it's gonna be, oh gosh, who the crud are you? <laughs> Monokuma? And after uh, consulting my yokai pad, uh, I figured out this guy's name is actually Jinte, who, I don't know, he's based on one of those, like, things that shows you the anatomy of a human being. It's kind of gross. And on the side of his medal, you can see that the tribe that he belongs to is that of, uh... 
they're kind of like the inanimate object tribe of yokai. A lot of yokai are based on just objects in our real world, but on the other side, his shadow side to be exact. We have this hulking undead behemoth, which is really scary. And his name is a pun on the Attack on Titan series, because it kind of resembles one. I think that's kind of cool. Moving on though. <laughs> so far we're getting an absolute ton of commons. I'm a little bit scared of that, but oh well, what can you do and what the... Who the crud is this guy? Hold up, what the... It's Junior! Yeah! <laughs> a very, um, happy-go-lucky yokai. We currently don't know his shadow side in the series yet, which I guess is why they're using the mystery icon for him, but this is Japanyan's son, I want to say. I don't really god dang know, but he's another common. But I like him as I drop him on the floor. <laughs> Moving on to the next pack, though. We got a lot of yokai to get to, and hopefully we can pull that legendary, but no. It's Dog Man. Oh, God. Actually, to be more precise, this yokai's name is Lucky. And the microphone he's talking into is a skull. I don't, I don't really know what that's about. The actual yokai called Dog Man is his shadow side form, which is this very almost werewolf-esque lycanthrope looking monster. He's kind of cool, but he used to have an owner and he was, he kind of reminds me a lot of Mangy Mutt in his design, but uh, I don't know. This uh, human faced dog looks a little more kind, I gotta say. So, so far we've hit nothing but commons, but there's a couple more packs ready to go. So let's see if we get, oh my gosh, it's it's him. It's Bori Bancho. So this was the, um, yokai that was introduced the earliest in Shadow Side sort of development. He is like a bully, bully, and uh, he shows up a lot. And I think he's in the first episode, come to think of it, but his Shadow Side is also Bori Bancho, and he's this like really big, like stinking hulking guy. He used to be a friend of one of the protagonists of the series, and I don't know when he passes his arc on. It's kind of it's kind of a sad moment, but uh, I like the artwork. It's pretty cool. I'm a little worried though. Oh my gosh, we have. Oh my gosh, only three packs left. By the way. Oh my god. All right, let's uh, hope we get something good out of uh, one of these. You're supposed to get like one super rare per thing. Komasan! Holy crap! Okay, I don't care if I get anything else. I got Komasan, baby. There we go. So, if you don't know me, I love Komasan to death. I really want a plushie of his new form and also his shadow side form. I got this guy in Puni Puni. Gotta say, he's pretty scary looking. Apparently, this isn't the same Komasan that appeared in the series with Nate and Jibanyan. But Jibanyan's still the same Jibanyan? I don't know, it's kind of confusing. The official uh, translations aren't out yet, so we don't know every single detail, but... Really cool looking metal. I don't know, it's kind of cool to see Komasan as a grown up. Moving on though, we only got two goddamn packs. What the dump am I gonna do? Two packs, two packs. The chances of getting a super rare metal are a little bit on the low side from what I've been seeing of other people unboxing stuff. And uh, we got, we got fish dude again. So... Okay, so that god dang sucks, whatever. We're gonna <laughs> hopefully get something good in our last pack and what the crud, I got Junior again. What the, god dang it, dude. Is it even any different? I mean, it's blue, but like what the crud, what the dump is that? Okay, that is really, really strange. I, If someone could translate this thing, I don't know what this yokai is. Is Junior a giant dragon? Bro. What the dumb, man? Okay, this is an interesting uh, arc to say the least, but uh, seriously, I got no idea what this guy is. So this is not the legendary yokai of the set, apparently. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's not. It's not the only blue metal we can get either, but uh, hey, I get Blizzaria, so I don't care. But if I had to guess, I think that if we insert this metal into the yokai watch Elda and this one, the dialogue in Japanese will be a little bit different since this is like a super rare variant. But uh, seriously, that shadow side is Kinda bizarre. Many ways, though, we're not done yet. That's one box down. Sure, who cares? I gotta clean that up later. God dang it. <laughs> Let's get into our second one. So far, I don't even think we have all the commons for this set yet, so that's kind of uh, concerning, but uh, hey, I guess <sighs> there's like a lot to these, or maybe the sets are actually smaller. I don't know. It's hard to tell, but moving on to the next pack. We got Mush... Mushroom Barber again. I don't even need to zoom in on him. <laughs> you can take my word for it, but uh, I'm trying to see if we can get like a uh, super rare or just some yokai we haven't seen before. That's the Megalo shark guy again. Oh my gosh, he's holding a piece of sushi. I didn't realize that before. I guess that's his uh, sort of like 
character arc, maybe? I don't know. I don't know how many Snake and Metals there are in this set, but uh, I figured I'd get two boxes since they're relatively cheap, and hopefully we don't get too many repeats. That'd be pretty darn nice, but even if I do get repeats, I can give them to my friends, which is always nice. Yeah. So far, I think <laughs> we might actually have identical boxes. One of that stinking so Oh no, guys, I think we got two of the same thing. <gasps> That's not good at all, is it? Yep. Yep, we got almost the same loadout of Yokai Metals. Oh my gosh. I guess that's what I get for getting them from two different stores. No! Did I get the same box twice? Is that the, that's the only time? No, that <gasps> No, we did not! Oh, baby! There he is! Our boy, Kappa. That is the legendary Yokai for this. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Okay. Oh, oh my gosh. Let's definitely get a zoom into that boy. Oh man. I've never gotten a legendary yokai medal before in a box set i don't know if like people in japan weigh them so like you weren't gonna get the most expensive one but god dang dude that arc looks awesome so uh gosh man that's so cool okay let's uh sh see his shadow side oh it's still a mystery how about that i'm kind of curious on that mechanic and like what's gonna happen when we put this guy inside the watch but hey i'm happy i got him I don't know what the complete set looks like, but dude, this this guy's got to go for something, right? Holy crud. And what will be in our last pack? I don't know, but I don't think it can top that another lucky. How about that? Well, I'm feeling lucky. Oh my gosh, dude. These are awesome. And we got another junior. Nice. So all in all, we didn't complete the set because I know for a fact that QB is in this set, which kind of bones me out, but oh well, you can't get everything you want, right? But frankly, all I've really wanted to get ever since I started collecting Japanese yokai medals was a legitimate legendary yokai, and I am happy about that. However, now it's time to insert this yokai into the yokai watch Elda and see what he can do. I just totally dropped the legendary yokai. My bad, bro. <laughs> His voice is so weird in the shadow side. Uh, okay, so I guess let's try the uh, light side now. <laughs> Kappa! I literally got Kappa, boys. All right, so now that we got him, let's check out the other really peculiar metal that we got, which was... Junior, I don't know what's up with his metal, but <laughs> arc, I guess I should say, but let's check it out, I guess. <laughs> what? So, okay, what the crud? That just said Kami Dragon. That means, is Junior the God Dragon? What the, that... That is really confusing. Okay, let's try his light side. <laughs> He's like a little baby! What the- How can a little baby be the god dragon? I got no goddamn clue, but uh, up next, let's try Komasan. He sounds terrifying, dude. He's really vicious. He's also um, a tribe, which I just recognized that Japanese word. And no, that wasn't me looking up the yokai wiki. But uh, he's like a defender deity, similar to Bori Bancho, which is kind of cool. I like that. Let's uh, hear what his light side sounds like, I guess. That is not the Komsan I know. What the? He sounds so indifferent. Oh, well. <laughs> How about that? Up next, out of the uh, old characters or the noteworthy ones, let's hear what uh, Plazaria sounds like, because I'm honestly really curious. Oh, she's still as 
cute as I remember her. Okay, so Fubuki Hime is Blazari's Japanese name, but uh, I'm a little scared to hear what her shadow side sounds like. Uh, here we go. She just goes, Pah. what the, oh, that was kind of weird. Okay, <laughs> moving on, I guess. Next up for the five common yokai we got a lot of, I'm gonna show their light sides and their shadow sides, just rapid fire. that summoning song complete that's gonna pretty much wrap up this video guys i hope you all enjoyed taking a look at the shadow side of yokai watch i gotta say holy crud i am excited for this series i also literally just realized there is in fact an sd card slot for the yokai watch elda holy crud the possibilities of this thing are endless then oh my gosh that makes me really stinking excited but anyways <laughs> we pulled kappa and I guess Dragon God Jr.? What the crud was that about? I don't frankly know, but I am really starting to fall in love with this franchise, like, so far. Like, I just... I was a little scared, I'll be honest. Shadow Side sounds a little spooky, but I think the, uh, people level 5 are handling the series very well. And on the merchandise sides of things, I'm pretty darn impressed with the watch and... <sighs> these stinking arcs. I'm gonna collect a lot of these, I can already tell, but... Thanks again, guys, for supporting the channel. Hope you enjoyed more Yokai Watch unboxing videos on the way. Because next time, we're checking out the Yokai Watch. Oh, girl, whoa, it's stinking huge. Not really, it's really zoomed in. Hope you guys are excited for that, because I know I am. But yeah, stay tuned for that. That'll have to be next time on Yokai Watch unboxing videos featuring me, Jimmy Possum. See you guys next time. Bye bye.